Over on Twitter, canceled is trending. Now, what do you think that's all about? You're seeing this. Disney, okay, your subscription has been canceled. We've set a confirmation to your email and file. You may continue to watch Disney Plus until November 30th, 2023, which is today. Uh, People aren't happy with Disney because Elon Musk had some choice words for Bob Iger yesterday at the New York Times Deal Book Summit. And these were the choice words. Go F yourself. Hey, Bob, Bob Iger really said this, and it was pretty comical. We need more of it. We need more people telling Disney and Bob Iger to go F yourself. Now, he wasn't just talking about Disney. He was talking about all the advertisers that are trying to boycott X right now which is a lot uh, for you PlayStation owners. From from what I was told the other day, you can't even post stuff to Twitter X anymore because Sony Sony just doesn't want to align with Elon Musk. I don't know if this has changed since November 7th and they added it back, but this is what the story is as of November 13th. So maybe it's changed. I don't know. But there's an article on it right there if you want to look into that yourself. So let's get back to the topic at hand. The reason that canceled is trending is because people are posting screenshots of themselves canceling Twitter. Or not Twitter, uh, (laughs) canceling Disney+. Plus. Uh, Here's another one in the comments of this post right here saying your subscription has been canceled. Just in, users on X are reporting mass cancellations of Disney Plus subscriptions after Elon Musk interview. Within just hours of Elon Musk interview, thousands of users have posted screenshots of canceled Disney Plus subscriptions. In addition to Disney Plus, users are reporting cancellations of Paramount Plus and others. This comes after Elon Musk accused some advertisers of blackmailing X with advertising money. Disney CEO Bob Iger was specifically called out so i think that this is interesting because it's actually people putting their money where their mouth is and there's a poll here with almost thirty thousand votes are you canceling your disney plus subscription because of elon musk interview yesterday uh 70.9 percent say yes 29.1 percent say no that's a pretty good sample by the way will this make a dent in the disney dollar Not that much, but at this point, Disney needs money so bad that I think everything probably hurts them. Either way, I like seeing people actually do something. You know, this is something you can actually do. You could cancel your Disney Plus subscription, which is something that they really desire. They want that subscription. So taking that from them is something you could do. Canceling Paramount Plus, that is something you can do. Uh, Things aren't getting any better for them, by the way. Nelson Peltz uh, still making uh, his waves, trying to get on the board. He wants multiple seats, by the way. And I really don't think that there's anything Disney can do to stop him, considering how many shares he holds now, because Ike Perlmutter, Gave the guy control of the shares. He didn't give them to him, right? Ike still has control. Well, he doesn't have control, but he still owns the shares. But he gave control of them to Nelson Peltz, uh, who is not happy with the Disney direction. Many people would call the man based. Uh, He is not happy with the direction that Disney has taken and wants them to actually make money again. Uh, So if he were to get on the board... You might see actual change come to the company. I'm not promising an overhaul, but you could see real change happen if you could just get somebody in there to check the bullshit, especially if he has multiple seats. That would give the guy a lot of power. And it would just be funny to see him screw with the Disney CEO and members of the board who have made nothing but disastrous decision after disastrous decision for the past few years now. 
Uh, Disney will have to deal with a new proxy fight as activist investor seeks board seats at the company. Peltz's uh, Triumph Partners and Thursday said Thursday morning that having not received a warm welcome from Disney's board of directors or from CEO Bob Iger, they intend to take our case for change directly to shareholders. Disney's next shareholder meeting will take place in the spring. It said that it spoke, the company said that it spoke with Iger this week and that Disney extended an offer for them to meet with its board of directors. However, the board said that it would not extend an offer for Peltz to join it as a director. Of course, they don't want him in there because that would delay the message. That would delay all the bullshit they want to do. That's why when Iger is out here saying, oh, we want to get back to quality and it's not all about telling messages. This is all to push these guys off of their ass. This is to get them off of their asses. They want to send this message out message out to shareholders yo listen we're going to change which they're not going to uh disney will not be changing its ways Uh, so they want to get them off but if they take this to shareholders there is a strong chance that they could get on there Uh, this comes a day after disney announced two new members of its board morgan stanley ceo james gorman and former sky ceo sir jeremy Durick. Disney said the process to add them began in April 2023 and that one current director would be stepping aside. So they're going to keep screwing with Disney, and I think that that's hilarious, and they cannot stop. They cannot. Disney cannot stop this guy if the shareholders demand it. And I don't understand why the shareholders don't demand more from them. Uh, I would want everybody at the top replaced, every single one of them. Bob. Fire him. Fire everybody on the board. Replace them all with people that actually give a shit about making money. Because Disney don't give a damn about making money. They care about the message. That's it. Uh, They've proven this over the past few years. So much so that it's literally burning the company to the ground and they still continue to do it. They're going to try to figure out a clever way to mix the message in with something a little bit more palatable. But... I don't think that's going to work either. Now, this guy getting on there, that might do something. We'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.